In the last video I've shown you how you can get a rough estimation about the site duration using the sum function and in this video I will like to show you how you can do this a bit more elaborated using very very simple modeling, simple modeling approach to these states. The first thing we have to do is to put things into a sequence because uh, we assume that our site has a starting point then we have the dates that are not probably not directly from the first occupation of the site and then we have an end point at which the uh, occupation stopped and this is probably later than we have the dates here. At the same time the dates are condensed by the fact that uh, they probably there is an overlap between the statistical scatter and the end point of that and due to the combination and the, the distances of the individual dates the estimation of the site duration becomes more narrow in the model situation compared to the sum situation. Okay, let's introduce some of these functions here and uh, then we will arrange our dates into that using the code view again. First we need to add a sequence here and again I can go for insert and I go to sequence here. There it is. We go for the simple sequence and we can also name that as my sequence and inside of the sequence I will have a face which consists all my dates I call that my face and now I can go to the code view and copy or cut and paste everything which was before in the sum into the sequence and there into the face command. So now we have the general structure, we have a sequence and we have only one face at the moment in the sequence and inside of this face we have all our dates. Now we need to introduce the boundaries that specify that we have a fixed beginning and a fixed end here. For that I look again here to the boundary function and I call that uh, start for example, the start boundary and I will immediately add another boundary that I call end and put that in also here. Now we have to move this face in between the boundaries and I also like to do that in the code view. Again I can just copy this or cut the start boundary and put that inside of the sequence before the face. So we have the sequence where we have first the start, then we have all our dates, all our evidence and then we have the boundary for the end where the site ended. And now we have a very very simple but functional model. We can add another thing here if we want to have an estimation about the duration of the site in years from the model itself we can add a query here. This query is called for duration is called span. If I find it here it can have a name, it can have uh, some expression in respect to this span but we just go for the unnamed span because we just want to have this information here from the model. You could also add uh, first and last for example as um, queries to get the first an estimation about the first and the last occupation here but we will not do that we will just work with the span here. Okay now we have the sequence, the boundary, the face inside of the face we have an estimation of the span of the face and then the end boundary and that's all we need so I can click on run and now this takes a bit longer and I hope it doesn't take too long because I don't know if I have enough to say during this maybe I will speed that up So we are back with finally a calculated model and you have probably seen that uh, the calculation count, the count of iterations was 4 million, so 4 million times this Bayesian process had to run and we had um, approximately 5 minutes or so before this model was done. Um, when you have more complicated models it can take even longer, very long, 
in that case uh, it's always good to grab your cup of coffee or do something else while the model is run or let very complicated models actually run overnight. This is especially true if you directly work with the Oxcal uh, engine um, on their server here. What we see is in the first place we have some modeled dates so there is a reduction of the individual dates here and this is due to the boundaries that we have introduced especially here for the end and for the beginning boundaries there is a bit of shrinkage of the individual models and we also can see there is an estimation of the span of the sites from approximately 373 years here we can see that better in the individual plots here so we have here this boundary and that looks a bit strange due to the uh, nature of our data and then we can also see the estimation of the span there is a slight probability that the site was in use very very short between 0 and 11 years but there's a much larger part of probability that the site was used between uh, 43 and 373 years with a stronger focus on the area below 200 years so with that Again, we can look at the multi-plot here, or at the curve plot. Here we can see that there is this reduction of probability here, and we get a better estimation about the total length of the use of this site compared to what we have would have gotten from the individual uh, calibration or the sum calibration. So here, in the modeled framework we can see that the site had probably a start of 2176 and an end of 1594 somewhere in between the site took place and in it's most likely that it has a duration shorter than 373 years wherever within this time frame and probably it was also shorter than 200 years these are the things that you can read out from this kind of model although we have to wait a bit for the result and it's better than just using the sum calibration and since I have to cut this video anyway I have reproduced the run that we had just now and now the result is much better so that's an indication for you probably also that sometimes you have to really question your model and rerun the model because it is a um, probabilistic method that means sometimes some of these chains some of these uh, uh, Monte Carlo Markov chains can end up in a strange situation and in that case the model will look very strange now it looks much better and we have actually also here a multiplot that looks reasonable and here we can see now the boundaries and from them it looks much more condensed here and we can see that probability actually the duration of the site was not on that long if I look at the single plots here I can see my boundaries and stuff the individual values of the um, of the dates and the span now looks more regular still we don't get a very short span but now the probability says we have 43 to 388 probable year of duration here and this first in the first run we had something between 0 and 11 and that is an indication that there was one of the chains that had indicated this probable duration but this uh, spoiled the whole result here take home message run your models probably more than once because sometimes it can result in strange uh, outputs here